your first time you were ever paid to do your work? Mm, it's like, I think it's all literally happened in the past, like, two or three months. Like, right before I went on a trip to Toronto, we had to paint um, an alleyway right next to Barnon in Spears Alley. Mm -hmm. um, so we did that and got paid a little bit of money, mostly supplies. But yeah, like, I, this is like the actual time I've been on a payroll and got a paycheck, like a nice paycheck for painting. Like, it's usually just been kind of like mostly supplies and stuff. Right. But, uh, and like, after I had gone to film school for two years and like, uh, just recently came back in April. So it was like super funny to uh, get on a film set and get to do your hobby <laughs> the whole time on the film set. So yeah. I didn't know that, like, I knew there was such thing as a scenic artist, but I literally didn't think that there was such a need for it or that like, they would even want to deal with me because it's like, oh, I'm just, you know, a young guy who just got out of school, but it's like, obviously I'm learning that Newfoundland does need a scenic artist. Uh, going from the bar to this, uh, sorry, going from the squat to this bar location, the styles change so remarkably. Like, mm. you seem like such a versatile artist. Yeah, and well, like, myself, like, one person who painted here forever, Tekka, he was a great abstract artist and, like, he really was the first person I saw do abstract, and like I knew what abstract was, like style, like if you want to go over here, like there's yeah. an abstract. It's like, this is what in graffiti people would consider a straight letter, because it's like, it's very readable, stand. Um, and then over here is like abstract, because it's like, there is no word, well, like there's a speech bubble there, but there is no word in this. It's like, there's kind of a little character, but it's like mostly colors and lines thrown around to be like, to look nice, but abstract doesn't have to make any sense. But I never saw anyone do abstract um, until Tekar came here. Yeah. And it was like weird because a lot of people who do graffiti here only do straight letters. And it was like, people told him it was a waste of paint, like the amount of stuff he was using because it was all colorful and huge and beautiful. And uh, it was crazy though to just see like someone have a completely different style, get shit on for it, and still do it, and do it better than most of other people's things. And it was just kind of like a big deal to see someone come in and do something different and stick to it. And so I was like, man, if, if he can do abstract, I definitely can. And then that's just like another style to your, you know, to your whole bag of uh, different things you can paint. So it's like, definitely just not limiting yourself <laughs> is like the best thing you can do to have a diverse uh, style, because yeah. it's like, I love, like when I was younger, I painted so many things like all those characters and like kind of demented, like weird metal-y kind of things, I guess I'd describe mm -hmm. it. But then it's like, this could be considered modern art to some hoity-toity fancy person, but it's just <laughs> abstract to me. <laughs> but then like, and then there's just tags, which everyone hates, but if you don't know how to do a tag, <laughs> you can't really like, you can't work your way up to all this. Like, I think I got in a big <laughs> argument with my mother the other night where she's like, no one likes those tags. And I'm like, well, Mom, like, <laughs> I wouldn't have this job if I didn't, you know, go She's tag. She's old school. I don't particularly love tag. No, but as like, it's just it's like stepping stones kind of thing. It's yeah. like you get a tag, then you do a throw up a piece. I like art that's universal, I guess. That, that says something to me, and tags to me, you know, generally just... It's usually just someone's name. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah Spooky G, it's like not a... Uh, not a message or something like, yeah. I don't mind seeing like a fuck Harper around or something like that. I'm like, okay, like there you go. <laughs> we all like those. It, but it's crazy though, because like when you think about how illegal graffiti is and you have to be in and out, it's like sometimes all you can do is a tag, but then it's like, that's when I love seeing people push boundaries. It's like uh, people here now are really starting to push themselves graffiti wise and like, even around the world, like websites have posted things from Newfoundland, they still can't spell St. John's right, they spell it Saint, <laughs> which uh -huh. is super annoying. Um, <laughs> and, but like, they, we, people have been like really pushing themselves and it's like, people don't believe, like I've been asked numerous times if things are photoshopped and it's like, that's a really big, you know, uh, makes people feel pretty confident in themselves if you think it's photoshopped. <laughs> So yeah, but I don't know. Um, Tell me a bit about Tekar. Tekar? He's so prolific all over the city. I actually thought he was dead. <laughs> I <laughs> no, no, I no. Saw R.I.P. Tekar, right? So, yeah. So tell me about this artist. Um, he's proud, he's like, yeah, very unique style. Yeah, super nice guy, uh, art school graduate. So it's like, it really, and he didn't start painting until very late. Like, I think I've been painting longer than Tekar, but it's like, he really started on doing all abstract and all huge colorful things, like his artwork himself. And um, yeah, he is prolific, he, but it's like funny how a lot of people in St. John's, like traditional graffiti artists, like SE1 and Semi, like these two guys who are very, very prolific in St. John's, uh, it was a great CBC story. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, like Tech Guy really brought something different to St. John's. Like he brought abstract and he brought like commissioned walls. Like there was a few things done. Like Derek Holmes, like obviously is like a big artist and uh, like does huge murals, but it's like Tech Guy like pushed limits here for like just people with spray cans. Like he was a uh, like art school graduate, but like he still did a lot of things. Like he, I think he, I've heard stories of him almost getting kicked out of art school for some of his things being like, one thing was just very flammable or something. <laughs> so he's always been pushing his limits though. Like, and he uh, got a lot of work for us. Like he got us in the 24 hour art marathon and like put me in connection. Like as soon as he left, he pretty much gave me every connection he had here and was like okay. super nice. But it's like, yeah, I can't really, you know, there's not a whole lot. There's too much you could say about him, but it's like, you know, I don't want to get too personal about it, but he's just a super nice guy, very genuine and prolific. <laughs> uh, my last question, because my media is full here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're like, oh. <laughs> There's so much graffiti in my film, in our film, um, in like the St. John's portion. As soon as they get to town, like I went to town finding all the best graffiti around. <laughs> do you, how do you think these artists are going to um, think about their work being in the film. Oh, they're gonna, like, it's super funny, uh, if there's a new, if, like, there's a CBC article or a CBC, like, interview with someone and you see graffiti in the background, like, people screenshot it, post on their Instagram, it's like, there's been, oh, what was it, there was, like, someone did a big tag on, like, a school or something and then they were having, like, uh, what was it, like a Thanksgiving, uh, they had a picture and it was like, oh, we donate all these turkeys. It's like the girl holding the turkey out and right in the back is like a huge throw up like tag. And it's just like, the guy makes that like his uh, Instagram picture. And it's just okay. like, people love um, attention. Okay. And like, sometimes I feel like there's a large percentage of graffiti artists who just want to be noticed, everyone to know them, small percentage of people who don't want to be known and they're probably the best. <laughs> and then uh, the people who don't care, who are usually pretty cool too. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be happy that they're recognized. Um, I know that like some people are probably gonna be bummed out if they're like only half of it's in there. <laughs> yeah, but, um, unavoidable too. Yeah, you know, it's like yeah. set up the shop. But I don't know, like I know a lot of people are gonna be happy. I saw a lot of, uh, I told a few buddies, I was like, you're definitely gonna be in there. We put up a bunch of names of our friends, like um, <laughs> this is one of our good friends, copied his, one of our good friends up here. <laughs> it's like, you know, we tried to do, everything we could for, um, cause it's like you want, if it, we wanted to make it look like it was St. John's Graffiti, it's like we can't just have the two names of only the artists working on it. It's like, that's not really how it works. <laughs> that's cool, very cool. Mm. Anything you wanna say in uh, the last two minutes? I wanna get a shot of the heart. <laughs> you know what? This reminds me of the heart at Redcliffe. Uh, that's okay. That feature. And that was the reason why I did it, because I remember. Oh yeah, you were there. You yeah, know. and you were loving it. And yeah. I was just like, okay, yeah. It's definitely one of the more detailed things I've ever done. I uh, like don't usually do realistic things, like cartoons is my main jam. But yeah, I, I was pretty happy with it. <laughs> the way it came out. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I just can't, like, I can't believe it's over, first of all. And, uh, I know. I can't believe it, like I can believe it happened because I was there, <laughs> but like it was a crazy experience, like I wouldn't be able to like thank everyone on one hand or in one sentence, <laughs> but I like from everything I saw from the crew and everything, it was like for, for being the first production I've been on outside of school, it was like couldn't have asked for a better team of people to be working around and surrounded with, it was amazing, awesome. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs>